Why fees are favorites in finance at a car dealership. There's only supposed to be tax title license and registration fees charged on a car deal, right? Well, mostly right. Yet, it almost never stops there. Today, you're going to find out why. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as the Homer Guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? This video is brought to you by YouTube's best channel on car buying and selling, courtesy of the Homer Guy team. Another round of super high intensity training is coming up for you car buyers. If you like the Homer Guy videos and you want to support some of our swag like this awesome hoodie here, well, just check the merch shelf down below. We appreciate your kind support. Fees are the favorite mechanism for a car dealer's finance officer to pack profits into a car deal. But why do they do this? It's pretty simple. If you drive over the curb on your way out of the dealership and you paid fees that are on your contract, you're done. They can't be canceled, refunded, or reversed. The point is, you can't legally force them to refund them. And they love that. Back with the whole story and an awesome dealer role play right after this short message from the Homework Guy team. If you're a first timer on the Homework Guy channel, consider subscribing and leaving us a comment below. Add hashtag the Homework Guy if you'd like a response directly from Kevin or one of the Homework Guy staff members. We're always glad to help our loyal followers, and the best part is there's no charge. You can also email the team at info at the with a specific question, or if you'd like a free contract review, just black out your personal information and send it to us. We'd love to hear from you. Just be aware that we do get a lot of requests, so just be patient while you wait for a response. Back to you, Kevin. We're not going to get lost in the weeds on the types of fees today because we covered that before on 11 Fake Fees right here on this channel. Someday soon, we'll update that with new information on fees. However, today, the primary thing you need to understand is why fees are so heavily used by dealers. There's a specific reason. I hit on it just a few moments ago. Once you leave the dealership, you're stuck. You can't cancel them. Unlike a product you were sold like extended warranties, prepaid maintenance, service plans, gap insurance, glass breakage coverage, even theft protection, the window etch theft protection, that bogus product, yeah, disability insurance, all of that stuff can be canceled long after the fact. And dealers really don't like it when you come back and ask for a product refund or insurance policy refund, but a fee? Wow, they love fees. There's no legal requirement to cancel a fee once it's paid, and the dealers don't. They aren't going to do anything they don't have to do, no matter how misleading the words were or how unethical the process was that they used to get your money. If you paid a dealer fee, shame on you. You're stuck with it. Only a very generous dealer, but more likely a dealer that feels you seriously busted them and you have the ability to make them pay big time for it. Only the cornered dealer will refund a fee. And if you ever have that happen to you, if you ever pay a fee to a car dealer, and then they refund it to you later because you complained? Well, you should go out and buy a lottery ticket that very day. Your luck is running extremely high. Right in the beginning, I told you the only legitimate fees are typically tax title license and registration fees. Everybody should know that. You can learn about those fees right from your local DMV office. There's one exception on the brand new car from a franchise dealer. A new car could also have a destination fee from the manufacturer, and they often do. You'll usually see it right on the window sticker. Just make sure that you're not seeing it on the invoice of the car as an included fee, and then also seeing it appear as a separate line item on your car contract. If that happens, you're paying that destination fee twice. Something a dealer without ethics is more than happy to pull on an unsuspecting car buyer. Let's recap. Any other fee that is not tax title license and registration all of which you can learn about by contacting your local DMV office is a fake fee that does nothing other than pad dealer profits. Remember, the destination fee from the manufacturer on a brand new car, but all other fees are fakes. I can't emphasize this enough. They do nothing more than pad profits to the dealership. Can you imagine any other business model where people get to add fees onto the price of things they have in the store just to increase the profits? People would get laughed out of any store anywhere in America, yet dealers do this all the time. Now, here's the good part. Not long ago, I was helping a car buyer from Florida who got hosed on dealer fees. We encouraged the customer to bring the car back and the contract back to the dealer and demand that the car deal be fixed. The dealer did refund the products the customer wanted canceled, but regarding those fees, the dealer just had one thing to say. 
You should have told us at the time of the sale that you didn't want to pay the fees. It's too late now. We can't refund fees after the fact once you paid them on your car contract. Listen to this again. You should have told us at the time of the sale that you didn't want to pay the fees. It's too late now. We can't refund fees after the fact once you paid them on your car contract. Getting raked over the coals by dealer fees in Florida is quite common. Florida car dealers are among the worst in the country when it comes to fees. But this dealer revealed the truth about fees that every one of you should have made a mental note on. If you missed it, here it is again. You should have told us at the time of the sale that you didn't want to pay the fees. It's too late now. We can't refund fees after the fact once you paid them on your car contract. I played this multiple times because I don't want you to miss the message here. What's crystal clear, and you savvy car buyers picked up on this the very first time you heard it, is that all fake fees are negotiable at the time of the sale. All the customer had to do was say he was unwilling to pay those fees. The dealer didn't apologize for charging the fees, and they refused to refund them too. But they admitted that they could have been removed if only the customer had refused to pay him at the time of the sale. You see how funny that is? Well, we did you a favor. We translated the dealer's comments so you could better understand their intent. So here is that translation. You should have told us that you weren't willing to get host by a fake fee at the time of the sale. And then we wouldn't have ripped you off. You see, not getting ripped off is up to you. It's like the dealer was blaming the customer for not understanding their crooked fee charging system. Isn't that ironic? You got to tell me I can't rip you off. Then I won't. <laughs> <laughs> you got it right. You have to catch them and then tell them you refuse to be ripped off by a fake fee. And then they won't. Well, most dealers won't. Those who insist they still need to charge you those ridiculous fees, well, just get up and leave. I mentioned that Florida has some of the worst car dealers in the country when it comes to fees. One explanation might be that they think their large retired population has the money anyway, and they're inclined to put their faith in the salesman to take care of them because they think all people are basically good. So they trust the process and the dealer hoses them. Then state law kicks in on things like document fees, those stupid legislators, and they pass the law that effectively says they have to rip off all the customers the same. We've told you many times how to get around this kind of stuff. No matter what state you're in, if the dealer tells you that they have to charge you a specific fee and document fees being one of the favorites for this, well, just tell them to take that doggone fee right out of the purchase price of the car and then go ahead and list it on the contract. In an upcoming video, we're going to examine state law in various states and show you how foolish lawmakers were when they wrote these pieces of legislation. We might even get lucky and get a legislator who wants to come on camera with us and share with us how bad laws like this get passed. In the meantime, just remember the dealer in Florida. His comment applies to every dealer in the country. You should have told us that you weren't willing to get host by a fake fee at the time of the sale. And then we wouldn't have ripped you off. Dealers love fees because you can't cancel them. You have to catch them at it while you're there and then refuse to pay them. It's the only way to avoid paying them. Mr. Dealer, you got anything else you want to say? You got to tell me I can't rip you off. Then I won't. <laughs> there you have it. If you really enjoyed hearing the dealer perspective right from the horse's mouth, let us know in the comment section below. We'll be glad to offer more videos just like this. As our return viewers know, the Homework Guy channel is home to some of the best videos on YouTube for car buying and selling. Check them all out. We've gone to a lot of work to help you out, so use the resources we put out there for you. They're free. What are you waiting for? If you learned an important lesson today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and leave a comment down below, include hashtag the homework guy. Share the video on social media with your friends and family and make sure to join us on Facebook and Twitter too. We post notifications and other updates on our social media sites and answer car buyer questions there too. If you love what we do and want to say thanks with a tip, well, the PayPal and Cash App links you see coming here, they'll be easy to find in that description box down below. But hey, don't worry if you can't do a tip, no problem. Sharing with your family and friends on social media and then encouraging other people to subscribe to the channel, that's the best way you can help out. That's huge. It's one of the most important things you can do as a loyal follower and viewer on the Homework Guy channel. We appreciate everything you guys do because 
You help us get the word out and defeat those bad guys that are still hanging on in the car business who haven't figured out that fairness and honesty is the best business model. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. It's time for me to run. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care, everyone. <laughs> you gotta tell me I can't rip you off, then I won't. Or do I need to get my mean face on? Oh, you can do like a You can tell me I can't rip you off. Then I won't. You gotta tell me I can't rip you off, then I won't.